Hi everyone, this tutorial is going to show you how to create a variable product in WooCommerce. A variable product is basically one product with multiple options. So for example, you have a product with three different colors and three different sizes. Your customer will be able to go onto that product and choose which size and which color they would like and then purchase it. The reason why you do a variable product is so you don't have to create 10 different products with each individual size and color as a separate product. A variable product allows you to have it all in one. Now, the first step you need to do is to create attributes. Now, to create attributes, you need to go to your product section and go to attributes. Now, attributes basically store in the system all the sizes and all the colors you want to offer. Now, we're not going to associate them with the product right now, but we're going to put all of these options in here which we can then use on any of our products. So firstly, we're going to create the color attribute. Okay, so we'll just create color. Okay, and we will click on add attribute. Okay, and then we'll also create an attribute called size. And then we'll click on add attribute again. Now, once when we go into color, we'll just go to configure terms here and type the three different colors we have. Red, black, blue. Okay, and then we'll go back to attributes and then go to size and we'll call it um, large, medium, small. Now, we have the attributes created now. All we need to do is create a product. So if you go to products and then click on add product, you firstly want to taste, uh, choose a name for a product. So we'll just call it test product. Uh, and here is where you obviously type a description of the product, um, but I'm not going to put anything in there right now. Now, what we need to do is we need to change it from a simple product to a variable product. Okay, and then we go down to attributes. Okay, we then click on this drop down here and choose the attributes that we want to assign to this particular product. So we want the customer to have an option of color and we also want them to have an option option of size okay and now when we've got the color attribute available we can choose the different colors that are available for this product so for this product it's just in black and blue and the size is available only large and small for example now we want to make sure that they are used for variation so that's important to click these check boxes here if you don't then you will not have the ability to give the customer drop downs to choose the product if you basically if you don't click on those check boxes it will just show that this product has all these options but the customer can't choose them okay so we need to definitely have that checkbox checked now we once we've done that we just have to click on save attributes and the next next step is to go to variations so basically with variations you're going to tell the system to create every single possible variation there is for this product. So it's going to go in there and it's going to automatically generate uh, a black large, black medium, blue large, blue medium and do it all for you so you don't have to do it yourself. So to do that you just have to click on this drop down and then click on create variations from all attributes and then click on go. A message will come up here and you just have to click on OK. Okay, and it will tell you now that four variations have been added. You'll notice that each variation has its own number. Okay, you have black large, black small, blue large, blue small. And you actually want the product, when someone clicks on it, you want black large to actually be the default product. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. And now what you can do is if you want, you can actually go into black large um, and change the settings just for black large. You can give black large its own uh, SKU or serial number. Uh, so I'll just do one, two, three, four, five. And I'll choose a price uh, of $60, okay? Um, now, obviously, if you want to put uh, weight or dimensions in there, you can. You can also put a description of the variable product, of that particular variation. Uh, and then I will uh, just click on close up here 
And then I'll go to black small and I'll put a price of say $45 and put that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and you can also give it an image, of course. So you can actually assign a separate image. So you might want to have a black image for this one and then a blue image for the other one. And then depending on what theme you use, the images will change depending when the variation is selected. Uh, so I'll just make this smaller and I'll make this one $75 and we'll put whatever number we want in there. And I will do $85 here and whatever number I want there. And then what we do is obviously we need to put the product into a category. So, you know, if you already have categories there, you can just add it into the category. I'm just going to create a new category called test products. Um, and I'm going to set a product image. So this will be the image that will be used by all of the products unless you ass assign an individual image through the variation itself. Okay, so I'm just going to go here and I'm going to choose this uh, tree as the product. Okay, and then I'm going to go to add product gallery images and I am just going to add a couple of more pictures there for the gallery. Okay, and then I will hit publish. Now, once you've published it, you can actually view the product. And what you'll notice here, uh, please excuse the design. It's a very basic design, just used to show you how to do this. So, uh, basically, you'll see that we have the options here now. If someone wants to choose blue small uh, or black large, everything changes based on that. And then when they add it to the cart and view their cart, it actually shows the choices that they have made. I hope that's a simple explanation for variations. It can be a bit painful at the start, but hopefully uh, it's easy to grasp now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.